Don't tell me you went home already. Good evening, Miss Rosemary. No, I haven't gone home just yet. Up to sound stupid as always, I see. By the way, I left some of your documents I need finished by tomorrow somewhere near your desk. I trust you went through those. What? Near my desk? Could you be more specific, please? I'm pretty certain I left them right next to it. What? Don't tell me you didn't go through them. You see, this is what I mean when I talked about time. You gotta manage, damn it. This is such an inconvenience. You're so useless, Veronica. Do your work properly. I'm sorry, but I don't know which documents you're talking about. Could you tell me which ones you mean? Did you look around your desk, yes or no? And the trash can? Oh, jeez, it was in the trash can. Just as I thought, throwing away such important documents without so much as a bat on an eyelash. Unbelievable. But I didn't throw it out. I would never throw out any documents without anyone's permission. What are you trying to say? Miss Rosemary, did you really leave these documents near my desk? I'm certain that a quick glance at them would have been enough to realize what they were. But they weren't on my desk or near it anywhere. They were instead in the trash can. Do you know anything? Don't tell me you're suspicious of me. This is so ridiculous. You suspect your own superior at work of foul play? Do you realize how rude you are right now? If I'm wrong, I apologize. I'm sorry. You know, I would never do such a thing. You put them in the trash can yourself and then tried to make it so that someone else did it. You're rotten down to the core, Veronica. Down to my core rotten? You have an unattractive face on top of a despicable personality. It's really hard to be your superior, honestly. I'm sorry, but you need not have gone into that territory, Miss Rosemary. What have we here? Talking back to your superior, are we? That's not what I'm doing here, Miss Rosemary, but I'm still a newcomer in the office. I'm so grateful for you showing me around the workplace and teaching me how to do my job properly. But if someone remarks something negative about how I look, how do I say this? There's not much I can do to change that, and it only hurts my feelings, so I'd appreciate it if you stopped. You know I'm only speaking the truth. The mere fact that an ugly swine shows up to work in the secretary division makes everyone's morale drop to an all-time low. We don't need ugly swine around here. Don't come to work again. You need not say such things, Miss Rosemary. I'm only trying to do my best for the company, as you know. Trying to do your best? You've got some guts saying that when you haven't even gone through the documents that need to be finished by tomorrow. These weren't even on my desk, as we discovered. Perhaps a little heads up during the day wouldn't hurt. And this sort of mishap can be avoided in the future, I believe. Eh? That tongue of yours is still alive? Sounds like you're putting the blame on me. I haven't typed a word with that intention. And I also know this. The vice director of the company has taken a liking to you. What? Taking a liking to you. When you're nothing but a hideous hag. How did you do it? Use your body, I suppose. I must ask you to stop saying these things, Miss Rosemary. Perhaps the reason why you're being so mean to me is because of what's going on with the Vice Director? Eh? I'm not even being mean to you, Veronica. No wonder you're so stupid, you can't even understand a person right. But someone saw you walking alongside the Vice Director a couple days back, and then I got depressed. Why is that? The Vice Director is a handsome young man who can do his job properly. He's like a rock star to us all. He's not the kind of person to keep all to yourself. And then there's you, a plain dull woman. I really can't understand why he's taken a liking to you. In any case, I know you're never letting him out of your sight. Like some disgusting stalker. Could you stop doing such things? You're ruining the division's reputation with stupidity like that. I don't have any intention of doing such actions. Perhaps not, but never forget that you're being a nuisance to us all. Not just the vice director himself, but everyone working in the secretary division. You've no idea how much of an obstacle it is to have to work with someone we know is giving everyone a hard time. How about you start accounting for how everyone else feels about this, mm hmm? I didn't realize everyone regarded the vice director that way, so I'm sorry to have caused the trouble. So in other words, you don't approve of me being seen with the vice director, am I right, Miss Rosemary? Not just me, damn it. Everyone doesn't approve, Veronica. He himself must be feeling really bothered by this. And also, why in the world were you with him in the first place? 
You went up to meet with him after work. What the hell were you doing with him? We went out to dinner, actually. We do that sometimes since we do live together, too. Eh, are you pulling my leg? Or has that loose screw of yours finally popped out of its little crevice? No, it's the cold truth, I'm afraid. We do live together, so in the event we get off work around the same time, we go someplace to eat before going back home. What are you trying to tell me? There's no friggin' way the vice director would yield to a stupid, simple woman like you. So you really are a stalker, eh? You sneak into his house every night and you sleep in the same house as him, eh? Do my looks really give off that kind of vibe? However, I do agree with you. Compared to the vice director, I may look pretty simple. My brother's been under the spotlight since time immemorial, after all. Huh? Brother? What? The vice director is my older brother, Miss Rosemary. Our parents divorced when we were very young, so we have different surnames. But we were of the same family name, once upon a time. After I came back from studying abroad, I've been renting a room of his, and that's why we're living together. My father seems to rest easier like that, apparently. Oh, hold on a second. You're the little sister of the vice director, Veronica. Yes, I am. We don't look alike at all, do we? And in other words, you're the director's daughter? Well, I suppose you could say that, yes. My biological father and I haven't really lived together very much, so I don't really think of him as my true father yet. But it was because of him and my brother that I was able to start working as soon as I came back from abroad. I can't forget my gratitude, can I? Why did you keep quiet about that? I didn't think I could show everyone that I'm truly capable of, and I thought people would look at me differently if I joined the company because the director himself pulled some strings. But I'd forgotten that my brother's quite the rock star, especially among the ladies, as you say. But don't worry, we aren't anything like you claim us to be. Oh, I'm not worried at all, miss. About tomorrow's documents, I can check them over first thing tomorrow morning. You need not stay late tonight to do any extra work, miss. Go home for the day, please. I'm sure the vice director is starting to get a little worried about you. I'm on my way home right now, actually, Miss Rosemary. The vice director was so kind as to help me go over the documents with me. And you need not do it tomorrow morning. What? The vice director did? Don't tell me. You didn't blab anything about me to him, did you? You didn't tell him that I made you do them, right? I didn't. I merely told him that they somehow wound up in the trash can and that they weren't finished yet. Oh, thank God. And it's not like I put them there, you know. There wasn't much space to put them, so they may have fallen into the trash can on their own. I'm sorry, Miss Veronica. I didn't think that you'd offer me an apology, Miss Rosemary. That was the last thing I expected. But of course I would. It was never anyone's mistake, and you left for home pretty late tonight. And that's made me feel sorry for you and for the vice director. Is that so? Who would have thought that your attitude would change this much? What a surprise. But I haven't changed attitudes at all, Miss Veronica. Could I ask a small favor of you, if you're all right with it? I'd like you to recommend me to your brother. Romantically, of course. Excuse me? Why would I do that? This is something I shouldn't really say to the younger sister of the man in question here, but I've been a fangirl of his ever since I joined the Enterprise. So I'd love for you to let him know about me so that we could maybe go out to dinner together. Dinner with my brother, you mean? Indeed, and if it's not too much to ask, I don't mind going over to your place for some time together. You're invited, of course. You could be my future little sister, after all. And I've always had this feeling that the vice director is only ever kind to me in particular. And I don't think it's wishful thinking, so... If I just had to chance, things for us could go pretty well. And thus I must call for you to help me out. Perhaps you could be the matchmaker for the two of us and arrange something. My brother is with me right now, and he just said that it really is wishful thinking, Miss Rosemary. What? Wait, hold on, what do you mean? Your brother is the vice director, right? Yes, he is. He's been reading our conversation in DMs for a while now. What? Didn't you say you never told him anything, Miss Veronica? I didn't tell him, Miss Rosemary, but I was crying as I was staring at my screen, so he went and saw what was happening without even asking. What? You can't mean that he's seeing all of this too, right? Yes, he is. 
Mr. Director, this isn't what you think. It's a misunderstanding. What's a misunderstanding, Miss Rosemary? You don't mean the fact that you just call me stuff like ugly swine and hideous bag and that you brutally harass me at work every day, forcing me to do more work? Oh, Veronica, dear, don't go about saying such silly things. You'll only make things worse, you know, and it's not like I wanted to do those things. You're the only one who went to such extremes, though, you see. It's not what you think. All I ever wanted was to educate you to become a good secretary. I never meant for those things to be personal insults. And I sure as hell never intended to harass you, not in the slightest. Oh, I've taken the liberty of witnessing everything that has transpired tonight between you and my sister, Miss Rosemary. Pardon me? Is that you, Mr. Vice Director? The fact that my sister is still a newcomer here is no excuse for what I now know you did to her. Insulting her, regarding her looks, forcing more work upon her, and making her stay working until late at night. Until now, she hasn't breathed the word, but I finally know who had the audacity to do these things. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Vice Director. I never knew she was your sister. Who cares if it was my sister or not? You are a despicable human being, Miss Rosemary Floyd. Throwing important documents away voluntarily is another crime to your pile. This will be taken to human resources promptly. Mr. Vice Director, please wait a moment. I really am terribly sorry. I had no malice afterthought. I assure you. It's over for you, Rosemary. Your charm as a woman and as a human being is zilch. Never interact with me or with my sister ever again. The vice director of the company loves his sister, Veronica, very dearly and never allows any harm to come to her and strictly punishes those who did. And Miss Rosemary was no exception. He never had any of her excuses, never forgave her, and promptly arranged for her to be moved to a subsidiary company in building maintenance. Rosemary's salary dwindled to something much smaller and she was thrown into a working society dominated by men. Away from the brilliant office life of the secretary in training, and because of mounting pressure from the vice director, Rosemary's father eventually quit his job at his own company. An angry brother can be as strong as a lion, it seems. Hey, Percy. Where are you right now? Where did you go? It's strange that you're not home yet from work. At this hour. Where in the world are you? Stop ignoring my messages and reply to me. How could you not notice my messages when I've been sending you messages every second since I got home? Wait a second. Did you mute our conversation so you won't be disturbed? Are you drinking out all by yourself again? Or even worse, at a hotel? Don't tell me you're with another woman. How dare you play around when you don't even have the money to do so? Hurry up and come home now. You should have already prepared my dinner before I even arrived home. Just eat dinner alone today. What? How could you say that? Who do you think has better pay? It's you, Candace. Your company pays you way more than my company does to me. I know, right? And who graduated from a better university? It's you, Candace. You graduated from a better university than me. That's right. You only graduated from a second-rate private university, while I graduated from a first-rate public university. Considering that fact in mind, the two of us have a huge gap that cannot be bridged. You understand that? I'm sick and tired of you saying that over and over again. You're like a broken record that keeps repeating the words. All I have to respond to that is, you're right, right? What's with that attitude? You don't seem like you know where you stand. So let me tell you where you stand in this relationship. You know what? If I didn't marry you... I wouldn't have been able to live in a house like this. I wouldn't have been able to live a life like this. I wouldn't have been able to live a wealthy lifestyle, right? So you do remember all that. Then why are you showing me that attitude? If you understand where you stand, then you should at least be mindful of your attitude. Why did I arrive home before you? What is the meaning of this? 
explain it to me. Even a stupid person can make dinner and wait at home. You don't make much and you have a low educational background. You are a useless husband, so at least do the chores at home. Why don't you hurry and do the only thing you're capable of? You always say that. And look down on me, don't you? Are you really as great as you say you are? What? What do you mean, am I really great as I really am? Are you doubting my greatness? How dare you doubt me? Unbelievable! You should brace yourself. Brace me for what? You're nothing without me. And it'll be the end of you if I kick you out of this house. Without a home, your stable life will be gone. Because as much as you don't want to hear about this, I'm the one supporting your lifestyle. You do have a point that I can't afford to pay the rent of our current place all by myself. I also understand that you'd pay more than half of the living expenses, but you know what? I'm not as poor as you think I am. I disagree with what you said to me about being low class. Yeah, right. You probably just won't admit that you're low class because you are low class. What a pity. Slow-witted glum worker like you have no choice but to either live an unexciting life or live the rest of your life supporting a competent worker like me. Understood? You incompetent fool. You should go and clean my shoes or something. Hurry up and come home already. Stop talking to me like that! I have enough of that! I don't want to hear the same things over and over from you. I've had enough of you shouting that to my face! So I decided to leave you. What? I don't get what you're saying. Do you even hear yourself? You decided to leave me? <laughs> you're not a high school kid who threatens his mother that he'll run away from home. I'm not running away from home. I already prepared the official divorce paper. I will ask you to sign the paper. The day after the lawyer checks it. A divorce? What in the world are you saying? Did you really leave me? Yes, I told you. I can't stand being with you anymore. I'm sick and tired of thoughtless words and abusive language. What are you doing to me is moral harassment, you know? And mental domestic violence. I really want you to stop doing that to me. Are you saying you left me? For real? Unbelievable. You're even accusing me of moral harassment? I don't understand why at all. Stop saying things that don't make sense. I'm starving. Hurry up and come home. I said I won't be going back home anymore. I will file for a divorce. I can't stand living with you anymore. What? What do you think you're going to do when you leave? An incompetent bastard like you with a low salary won't probably be able to make it without me. I was living alone before we got married. And I wasn't being extravagant, but I was happy living that way. I had a very tough time during two years after we got married, though. What are you saying? You have no right to say that you have a tough time. You should be thankful that you're able to live with me. I've had enough of those abusive words. How do you expect me to be happy with that? I don't care about your happiness and all that crap. Just hurry up, come home, and cook something for me. I've been telling you for the past hour that I'm hungry. What part of I'm hungry don't you understand? I said I won't be going home. What part of I won't be going home don't you understand? Humph, <laughs> you really are annoying me. I'm almost at my wit's end. I will really be angry if you don't come home this instant. I still have the patience to forgive you now. So hurry up, come home immediately. You should properly apologize to me when you get home. 
I won't take a half-hearted apology. If you can't do that, we'll be getting a divorce. I told you I will file for a divorce. Didn't you read my messages? You should be the one to reflect on your actions and apologize to me instead. You are having an affair. How confident could a cheater be? An affair? It's very obvious, so don't act like you don't know anything. You're always on your phone. At night, you go to your lover. And you even shower before going home. You didn't care whether I found out about it or not, didn't you? Stop talking nonsense! How could you hurt me when you don't even have evidence? That's what I hate about you. Evidence? <laughs> I have evidence. What? You're kidding, right? I'm sure you don't have evidence with you. There's no way you have evidence. I asked a detective agency to investigate for me. I also know that your lover is your senior at work. Huh? A detective agency? You can't afford to hire a detective to investigate for you. I've been telling you that! I might not be earning as much as you, Candace, but I'm an ordinary office worker. I don't face any difficulties financially. Anyway, I have evidence with me. So, of course, I would demand alimony from you. Alimony? Get a hold of yourself! Understood. I'll give you $7,000. That'll be enough, right? If you want some from my lover, too, then I will pay $10,000 for both of us. I can immediately pay you if you want, so don't make this a huge problem. Hurry up and come home this instant. We won't be getting a divorce because it's disgraceful to the public eye. It's because you'll have a hard time telling your parents, right? Your parents are concerned about what other people think about them more than you, right, Candace? Your parents will probably disown you, and you won't be able to get an inheritance from them. Since they'll see you as a divorced middle-aged woman who cheated on her husband. I won't allow them to say such a thing. We won't get a divorce. Huh? Why? You said we'll get a divorce, and even mentioned that once I leave the house, our marriage will be over. Good for you. Congratulations. You got what you wanted. I would never set foot in that house anymore. I didn't have too much stuff anyway. You might not have noticed, but I already took everything I own with me. I didn't notice that. I will forgive you now if you just apologize. The truth is that you don't really want to get a divorce, right? Be honest to yourself and come home. Or else it will all be too late to apologize. It's already too late. <laughs> the evidence that I told you about earlier, I already said them to different places. To different places? What do you mean? What evidence do you have? The evidence of you having an affair? I sent it to your office, your boss's house, and your parents' house. What are you saying? You're just trying to threaten me, aren't you? That's not what threatening someone means. I think the evidence will arrive tomorrow morning, or I'm not already have arrived at your boss's house. What in the world are you saying? Wait a minute. I don't understand what you're saying. Of course, you understand. Don't act like you don't. Photos of your affair were only sent to places they're supposed to be sent to. With this, you can't escape paying alimony. Wait, just wait for a second. What should I do to stop this? You sent it by mail. What should I do to stop it from arriving at the destinations? I don't think you can stop it. I don't know, though. I'm not an expert with mail. If it doesn't safely arrive at the addresses that I sent to, I'll just resend the photos. So even if you try to prevent the first batch, it'll be useless, you know? Since it's come to this, I'll take it as far as I can. I will be demanding alimony. For both of you and your lover. Hey, Percy, please wait a minute. This is not the Percy I know and am married to. Just take a deep breath and think about it. Just calm down. You're the one who should calm down. You treated me like I'm a useless, stupid person. There's no way this is going to end without me having to do something about it. 
I will never forgive you too. Your parents will probably be furious when they find out. An affair is definitely out of the question for them, isn't it? Please, just tell them that it's a mistake or something. Tell them that there might be some weird papers that will arrive. But it's just a misunderstanding and a mistake. Why do I have to do that? It's not a misunderstanding and it's the truth. You might be right, but I apologized many times already. I'm begging you to forgive me. Please, forgive me, Percy. Actually, you haven't apologized at all, not even once. All right, all right. I'm sorry. That's enough for an apology, right? No, how much value do you think your apology has? Just because you apologize doesn't mean I'll forgive you. I won't change my mind at all, no matter how much you apologize again and again. What? You just made me apologize for nothing. You just wasted my time. Come on, Percy, I said I'm sorry. Let's get back together. We've been through the ups and downs of our relationship together. We've been doing great, right? I'll pay you money, so... It's not a matter of money, you know? Doing great? What part of our relationship felt great to you? Ever since we got married, I haven't felt great at all. Since you started having an affair a year ago, I wasn't happy at all. Not even a single day. I'm so sorry, Percy. I'll do the best I can from now on. If you said that a month ago, I might have believed you and forgiven you, but I've already arranged and prepared everything. It's not for money or material things. I will fight till the end in order to get back at you and destroy you. You had a double affair in your office. I doubt that you'll be keeping your career as it is. Anyway, you can talk to me through my lawyer. So good luck with that. Goodbye. <laughs> Candace continued to wait for Percy to come home, but Percy never came back to her. The next day, Candace received a call from her furious father and a scolding at the office. With Candace's love affair exposed to her parents and co-workers, she was stripped of her leadership position and any chances of getting promoted. She lost her career that she'd built for a decade and became a low-ranking employee. Of course, Percy and her boss demanded alimony from her. What's more is that since her boss didn't get a divorce, Candace didn't end up being with him. With no one on her side, she became miserable and far from happiness. All her savings were gone, and her rank at the office was lowered along with a decrease in salary. No longer able to afford an expensive apartment, she ended up having to move to a cheaper place for the next month. Hunter, where did you go? I'm at work right now. Why? You're still working at this hour? You're really an incompetent person, aren't you? Competent people usually don't work until this late in the evening. It's only half past my regular work hours. Huh? Did I hear you right? Are you talking back to me? This is unbelievable. Who do you think you are? Uh, I was just telling the truth. I didn't intend to talk back to you or anything. Blah, 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 shut up. You're annoying me. If you don't come home, I won't be able to eat dinner. By the way, I washed clothes. You washed the clothes? Really? I'm surprised. Well, I guess it's a good surprise. Thank you. You should hang it so it'll dry. You didn't hang them up yet? Oh, why do I have to be the one to hang the clothes? I was the one who put them in the washing machine and washed the clothes. You should be thanking me instead of complaining. Are you serious? When did you wash the clothes? I think it was around 3 p.m. Hours have already passed since you washed them. What else did you do wash aside from the clothes? I also washed the bed sheets. Huh? Why did you wash the bed sheet? Didn't you wash it last week? It's fine if I wash it right. It was a bit dirty, so I washed it for you. The bed sheet is dirty. It didn't look dirty to me this morning when I checked. Did something happen? Did you say this morning? 
Don't tell me you check the bedsheet every single morning. That's disgusting. I just check the bed every morning after waking up. When it was a bit dirty last time, you were very angry. So I made it a habit to check the bed every morning after that incident. Did I really get very angry? Yeah, you did. I didn't think you would react that much to a little dirt, but I don't think there was any obvious dirt on the bed sheets. When I checked this morning, why did you wash the bed sheets along with the clothes? The bed sheet became dirty. You don't need to know how it got dirty. You should be thanking me for washing it instead of grilling me with questions. More importantly, you didn't wash the plate that you used for breakfast. I'm sorry about that. I was in a rush, so I didn't have time this morning. Stop making excuses. You should properly do the chores at home. By the way, about the bed sheets, why did it become dirty? Did you use it or something after waking up? What do you mean? Are you trying to accuse me of something? I take naps, you know. I take rests now and then. At 3 p.m.? I mean, how could it become dirty when you just took a nap? Why are you being so persistent? Gosh, you're starting to annoy me really bad. You don't have to worry about things like that. You should just be doing the chores at home. Also, you should work properly. Understood? Because if you get fired or something for some reason, we won't be able to afford to live. But you should prioritize the chores at home, because that's part of your job as my husband. Dana, do you think I'm a housekeeper or something? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? You're my husband, and I see you as my husband. If you don't think I'm a housekeeper or something, you won't be saying these to me and treat me like this. I'm not a robot or you can order around to make sure the house is always clean. Why are you talking back to me again? How dare you talk to me like that? You have no right to disrespect me. Whatever, just finish your work already. Come home immediately and do the chores. You should change the bed sheets with a different one as well. How dare you say that to me? Get a hold of yourself! I've had enough of your unreasonable behavior. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? How could you ask me to change the bed sheet that you use with your lover, your stupid wife? <laughs> what are you saying? My lover? What are you talking about? Stop talking nonsense and talking back to me. Listen, you might be thinking that I haven't found it out yet, but you've been acting strangely a lot lately, so I planted a camera in our room. What? A camera? Whatever you say to defend yourself, no matter how much you deny, I found out the truth after I checked the camera when I get home. So I don't really need you to uh, admit it now. A camera? What do you mean you planted a camera? Why would you do such a thing? And so? Huh? Are you gonna tell me the truth or not? Which is it? Get a hold of yourself. Just stop with your lies. I've had enough of them. Why are you so mad? You're not the type of person who gets mad like this. This is not a problem of my attitude or how I'm usually like. Stop underestimating me and stop making me look like I'm stupid. Okay, okay, I understand. Where is the camera that you mentioned? You don't need to know the location of the camera. Just tell me the truth. All right, all right, I'll tell you the truth. I did bring a man into our home, but it's not like we're having an affair or anything because we're just fooling around. That's exactly what an affair means. Are you stupid or something? 
So you did something with that lover of yours on the bed and made the bed sheet dirty, didn't you? You even had the balls to ask me to hang that bed sheet to dry. Are you crazy or something? Because you're the one who always did the laundry. So I thought you would do it. So, since when have you been doing this? And where did you meet that bastard? And how did you two end up like that? You're asking me too many questions. Don't you plan to tell me at all? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Geez, so annoying. He's an insurance diplomat. We met online. So you met him on a dating app? It's a matching website. That's the thing. I only said differently. Are you kidding me? I said I'm sorry. But I'll stop doing it now. You're fine with that, right? Of course it's not okay. What are you thinking? Where is the camera that you mentioned earlier? To take videos like that? You're evil. I'll forgive you for doing that if you forgive me. There's no camera in the first place, and... What? You've got to be kidding me. So you lied to me? If I don't do it like this, you won't admit it, would you? Now that I learned that you're having an affair, I have no choice but to ask you to leave. What? You're asking me to leave? Why? What do you mean by leave? I'll file a divorce. The evidence of your affair is this chat message. You admitted everything, so I will use this conversation. What a bastard! Even if you delete our messages in your phone, it won't work. Because I already took a screenshot of this conversation. How could you do such a thing to me? I'm your wife! You've been kind to me all this time! You did everything for me, didn't you? I was annoyed every time you asked me to do something, but I don't hate house chores and I wasn't very unhappy with our marriage, so I didn't complain in front of you, but I don't want to work hard every day for a crazy wife like you. I even did the chores at home just by working full time at the office. I realized that I didn't want to continue living this crappy life. So with that said, please leave and we'll get a divorce. Hey, Hunter, wait a minute. We can talk this out. A divorce? How do you expect me to live without your support? What do you mean by getting a divorce? You're even asking me to leave? Seriously, what are you saying? Where am I supposed to go? I can tell that you're panicking. You work part-time only three times a week, but I do all the household chores when I have a full-time job. You even use your salary only for yourself. When did we even get married in the first place? Wait a second. I don't want to get a divorce. Actually, I have important news to tell you. What important news? I, I'm pregnant. What? Pregnant? It's your child, too. I'll apologize for everything I've done. I had morning sickness, so I couldn't do the chores at home, even if I wanted to. I will do my best from now on, so let's do this thing together. What are you saying? It's been a year since we got married. Are you implying that you've had morning sickness for a year? What are you saying? That's impossible. Anyway, I'm pregnant. How many months are you in? I don't know yet, but I just found out yesterday. That's why I thought of telling you immediately, but I'm sorry it took me a little time to tell you. Stop with your lies already. I'm sick and tired of hearing them. We haven't done it for three months now. How on earth would I get you pregnant without doing it? What are you saying? Do you even hear yourself? That's your lover's child for sure. You should leave the house immediately. No, you're wrong. The baby in my belly is yours, Hunter. I might have told you lies before, but please believe me this time. There is no way I'll believe that lie. I can't tell you right away about the alimony, but I will contact you again regarding that soon. 
You're even going to demand alimony from me? That's impossible. You chose to have an affair. What you get is a divorce for doing that. Of course, I'm going to demand alimony from you. You should have thought of that before doing such an irresponsible act. Get out of the house before tomorrow comes and take all your stuff out with you. I will go ahead and contact your parents. Why are you so nonchalant about this? You're being too calm and level-headed. For someone who just learned about his wife's affair, why is that? That's because I already thought of divorcing you. Also, I've been thinking of how suspicious you've been acting lately. I also felt like someone uninvited came inside our house. I feel kind of relieved that I finally found the answer to my questions. And by the way, I already prepared the official divorce papers. The divorce paper in the drawer in the bedroom, so if you don't mind, fill the form up and sign it before you leave. That would help me a lot. You even prepared the divorce papers already? Did you really want to get a divorce that bad? Don't you feel the same way too? You're saying you don't want to get a divorce, but your actions tell me otherwise. You keep on looking down on me like you're better. You even treat me like a housekeeper. And what's the worst is that you even had an affair. My gosh, how hell like could you get? If all those things you did are normal to you, then I can't continue to live with you like this. That's why getting a divorce is the right answer to this dilemma. I mean, let's get a divorce. Hunter, I'm sorry. There's a baby in my belly and I want to make amends with you and start fresh. I thought of today as the last day that he and I meet. So please, Hunter, please forgive me. All you say are what benefits you. You're so selfish that all you think about is yourself. You probably told him about the baby and he ran off after her in the news, didn't he? Of course not. All I did was choose you, Hunter. I'm sorry, but you don't get to choose this time, Dana. Our marriage is over. First, I need you to get out of the house. I will have to ask you to fill in the divorce paper with your signature. Then pay the alimony to me. These are what I have decided. Hunter, wait for a second. You've been so kind to me for the past year, but I can't believe you would do this to me in the end. I don't want to hear those words from someone who has treated me badly from the beginning to end. Well then, why don't you find someone else who is willing to do all the chores at home for you? You crazy, ungrateful monster! <laughs> Just as Hunter suspected, Dana's lover left her. After she told her lover about her pregnancy. After that, Dana didn't get out of the house, but her parents ended up coming for her and taking her to their house. She's now living with her parents in her childhood home. But she had to pay for the alimony that her husband demanded from her. Of course, with her she spends money. She didn't have any savings. Without any money to her name, she had no choice but to work and pay alimony. She's expecting to give birth soon, and her lover didn't acknowledge his child, so... Rumors say that Dana might continue to be worried sick if she'll ever be able to raise her child all on her own. Hey, Lawrence, how you holding up, buddy? Been a minute. Oh, hey, Philip, it really has been a hot minute, huh? I was actually planning on reaching out to you. You called me at the right time. I'm not doing too bad. Just drudging along as usual. I actually ended up quitting my job. I know, it's a surprise. I have loans and a family, so I'm actually pretty darn nervous about the whole thing, but, you know. Sorry for suddenly messaging you and talking about something weird. Ah, uh, you? Philip, the diligent worker Philip? You said you were on the road to become an elite corporate class worker. What happened? I mean, yeah, that was how it was supposed to turn out, but uh, someone else moved into our department. A younger guy who seemed fairly capable of doing things. He really outdid himself, and he kind of knocked me down the ladder a few rungs. And go figure, he actually became my boss, so yeah, FML. Oh, that sounds like it's so much fun. Seriously, though, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks. I was bullied into quitting, basically. I really didn't have a real choice in the whole matter. I don't know if this is what I should be doing or what, you know? 
I really just have no idea what I should be doing with my life right now, and I was just at a loss, but I figured I could talk to you about it, Lawrence. I really don't have anyone else I could talk to about this whole thing. Hey man, don't worry about it. The whole thing will blow over soon. I know that you're an excellent worker and extremely skilled at what you do. Most people will be able to tell immediately that you're very capable and very efficient. Yeah, you're probably the only guy in the whole world that's still able to compliment me like that, my guy. I've lost all my confidence, and I've lost my job now. I'm basically living with no place in the world. I've worked hard and devoted over 10 years of my life at that company. I've really put my heart and soul into it, but to be honest with you, I'm not quitting the position. I'm being fired. They're letting me go. Wait, but you're such an honest and hard worker. Why are they firing you? You're the last person in the world that deserves to be let go. That's such a stupid decision. What the hell is going on? You want to grab some drinks, man? You gotta tell me more about this. Yo, about that new employee welcoming party that's happening later this week, you're not actually trying to go to that, right? Please tell me I heard wrong. Excuse me? Of course I'm planning on attending the party. Why wouldn't I? I'm basically a new employee too. It's not really that different, is it? Hey, hey, come on now. You're not exactly the right age to be calling yourself a new employee, are you? <laughs> Aren't you already in your 40s, my guy? You're not exactly fresh blood, if you know what I mean. You're literally older than I am, dude. <laughs> you're just a regular old worker that came on board out of the blue, and now you're gonna act like you were hired fresh out of college. Come on, man. You better get to working. Yeah, just so we're clear, I am getting to work. I work very hard and diligently, actually. I'm planning on working from now on, too. I'm not going to just suddenly give up on it. And I apologize if this comes across as an insult, but I don't think that's something that you should be telling me anyway, Mr. Perry. And if you're over here talking about how I'm literally older than you are, which you've made abundantly clear for everyone, how about you start showing some basic level of respect? You are aware of the whole respect your elders thing, right? What the hell are you talking about, dude? Why would I ever be respectful toward my subordinate? You know what that word means, right? It means I'm the boss. And to make things worse, you're my subordinate and you're somehow older than me. <laughs> you're gonna be looked down upon. You're not worth anything, so of course I'm gonna look down on you. You really should cut it out now. Why don't we stop doing this, hmm? You really don't have any rights to be belittling me like that anyway. This is borderline harassment. And I'm your subordinate? In what world is that even true? How do I become your subordinate? Wait, is that how you're always talking to people who are older than you who haven't really been able to secure management positions? I feel like this isn't the first time that you've done this. I'm actually pretty positive that you've been nagging and bothering people who are in the same shoes as I am to quit. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Not a clue in the world. There were definitely a few old-ass men who quit without any particular reason, though. I kind of forgot about them. They're just old men taking our salary. Why would they deserve our payroll when they're just sitting there doing literally nothing at all? They're definitely better off being gone from around here. <laughs> at the very least, our company benefits from their absence. A company makes sure people leave regardless of how old they are. Do you understand what I mean by all that, Lawrence? I'm saying that you need to watch your back and make sure that doesn't happen to you either. It sounds like you've really had a blast of a time going after all those older employees. I just want you to know that that kind of attitude has a really bad effect on you and will shoot you in the foot. Are you understanding what I'm saying, Perry? I don't think that's the kind of attitude or behavior of someone that should be in a managerial position. You better not be acting so tough around here, Lawrence. I'm literally your superior, so you need to watch your mouth around me. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention this to you. The venue from the party, it changed from location that we sent out on the email the other day, just so you're aware. What? Seriously? Are you not just messing with me? Huh? I guess no one sent the old middle-aged man who just randomly joined the company out of sheer luck the email, eh? <laughs> I feel bad for you, so I'll let you know where to go. You should be thanking me right now. Well then, hey, thank you for letting me know.
Just you remember though, if you go up against me, I don't care how old you are, you're gonna really regret this. You know why? Because I'm the most skilled and qualified person in this department. No one else even comes close. I'm pretty sure the department manager is still technically more powerful in regards to the food chain. But the department manager is usually out for business. Not to mention he's usually not around when he has to go deal with other department heads too. Which in other words means that the project lead, read me, is the actual real department manager in line. Do you understand me, old man? If you understand, you need to shut up and stay in line like the rest of them. I think I've figured out the kind of person you are in the short time I've known you. Two days is more than enough to figure it out. This makes everything much easier for me, so thanks. <laughs> what? What are you talking about making things easier? <laughs> I'm definitely not going to make things easier for you, no sir. You're just another old man waiting to leave, so I'm going to make sure you do more of the grunt work than any of the other employees in the office. You better be ready. <laughs> I'm going to have an easier time getting over the fact that I'm going to be making you be in a world of pain. Thanks for that. Wait, what are you saying? Oh, nothing really. Just some thoughts I had. Anyway, I'll be looking forward to the welcome party. See you then, I suppose. <coughs> Let me guess, Lauren. You're at the location that I told you, right? Please, please, please tell me that you're there. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I'm planning on going there. Well, to be precise, I'm actually about to be there in a second. I'm not quite there yet. Ooh, how unfortunate. Because literally zero people are going to that venue. No one is celebrating for you. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Ah, let me explain. I told you the wrong location, you moron. <laughs> I'm gonna use you as the butt of my joke for the months to come. <laughs> All right, uh, tell me how you feel right now. You feel like retiring yet, old man? <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, to be honest with you. You still don't understand what's going on? I don't need some old man who's way past his prime and couldn't cut the real work working in my department. Extra people who don't carry their weights because of bad knees are just wasted expenses. We could be spending that on our future, or my bonus. <laughs> the best thing that we can do for us and for you is to just let you go. <laughs> You know that everyone that was coming here didn't want you to come because old man smelled really bad. Their words, not mine. So don't worry about it, old man. You don't have to come. <laughs> everyone, huh? Can you tell me exactly who was saying that? Literally everyone, dude. Don't you get it? <laughs> You're disliked by everyone in the department because you reek of retirement and old age. You might actually be hated by the whole company at this point. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. Just so you know, Mr. Perry, you seem to be acting awfully tough. Are you sure you should be acting like that? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Or are you just doing this to piss me off? Yeah, you got a lot of balls coming at me with an attitude like that, old man. I can tell that you're going to be fired with that kind of attitude. I'd be willing to bet that you're going to be gone by the next week. Fired? Who exactly is going to be fired? You dumbass! Who else would be fired? God, you're seriously such a useless old man who can't even keep up with a regular conversation. Are you already getting senile on me? I'm not going to be drinking with some old man who joined the company halfway through the year just because he's new to us. I told you the wrong place using my own decision as everyone's boss. You're the only one that doesn't know where the right place is. Okay, that makes things way simpler then. You're fired. Wait, what? Let me tell you something, Barry. You seem to be high on your own farts and under the impression that you're somehow my boss or something. Let me tell you the shocking truth. You might want to be sitting down for this one. I on my own farts? What the hell are you talking about? You're really starting to piss me off. I was actually scouted from your company's higher-ups as a business consultant. Huh? I have never felt like I was your subordinate. Just so you know, I'm never going to be your subordinate. You've been nothing but uncooperative and rude. You are impossible to get along with. You have no semblance of any common sense at all. You're seriously one of the worst employees I've ever seen. 
What the hell is that? Are you seriously calling me out right now? Oh, I guess I might have gotten carried away. It's because you say such insane things and insult me every chance that you get. I really can't stand it at all. But as it turns out, apparently I have stooped to your level. I would not be making that mistake again. Sorry. Anyway, the point is, Mr. Perry, you're going to be fired, so goodbye. What are you talking about? I can't be fired. That's not possible. Why are you saying that? It actually is totally possible. We don't need someone in this company who will be lowering the morale of the employees of the whole office. Right now, I'm only telling you that you will be getting fired, but just know that there will be action coming. Tomorrow, I will be filing all of the formal paperwork to make sure that you're let go. Honestly, you may not be fired yet, but you should think that you're already fired because it's going to happen. Wait, wait, hang on a second. What the hell are you talking about, man? What exactly is a business consultant? What? If you don't know what a business consultant is, how about you look it up? My whole career has been nothing but consulting. This is what I do for a living, do you understand? I didn't join this company halfway through the year for no reason, buddy. I joined this company and I'm working at this wonderful place because they asked me to. People like you, who are definitely an overall negative effect on the employees and as a result the company itself, will be fired. That's going to be beneficiary for the company. Think of it like cutting away a really bad tumor. The body will be that much healthier. Wait, hang on just a second, please. Is this for real? Are you not just bluffing right now? Please tell me the truth. You're telling me that you're the company's business consultant right now? You're not just some old man nearing retirement who joined halfway through the year? Nope, not at all. I'm definitely a consultant. Also, just so you know, everyone that you were talking about are all over here right now. Huh? Where exactly were you planning on having the party? All by yourself? Sorry to break it to you, but they all apparently really couldn't stand you. I think they would rather party with some old man nearing retirement than someone like yourself. <laughs> You're so screwed, dude. Yeah, I mean, no one is here, that's true, but uh, that's so weird. I made sure I sent out the email to everyone. They should all know what's going on and where the party is. I wonder why no one's coming over here right now. <laughs> the timing is right. Uh, maybe they're all just working late? Mr. Perry, hello! I just said they're all over here. Huh? What do you mean over there? I'm saying that they're over here where I am. The venue that you told me. They're all over here already, and they've already started partying without you. What the hell? Why? I told you the wrong venue. It was all a lie. No one preserved anything for that venue, so no one should be going. There's no way that everyone would be going over there instead of coming over here. That's, that's just not possible. I mean, yeah, maybe that would have happened, but as it turns out, I'm good at my job, so I double-checked on everything. Double-checked? Uh, double-checked what? Well, when I called the venue that you told me, they told me that there were no reservations for any kind of party on the date and time that we were supposed to have the party. I thought that maybe there was some kind of mistake, so I confirmed the department manager and had him give me the okay to make the reservations with this place. What? So you already put in the reservations for that store? What about the old store reservations? I don't know, but I only reserved this location because I thought you screwed up and forgot to reserve. Everyone has already received the email with the corrections. That was sent out quite a while ago, too. It feels like you're probably just not checking your emails correctly, and so you were the only person that was left behind out of the whole office. What the hell? There's no way that that's true! Why would that happen to me? I'm sorry that no one has gone to your venue that you reserved. Good luck with everything over there, alone. Oh, but I did think that I should let you know. The department manager is pretty pissed off. In his words, not mine. How could someone be so stupid? I don't understand how you could be dumb enough to stand up the literal president of the whole company. What? The department manager is pissed off? What the hell, man? Why are you telling him lies? I had no intention of missing that party, you know that? You should tell them that I'm planning on going. I don't know why this whole thing happens, but this is all just a huge mistake. You're the one that changed the venue without asking me about it, right? You went way too far. You know what's going to happen to you now that you've done this to me, right? 
Bro, you literally just tried to do the exact same thing to me. <laughs> and what are you talking about what's going to happen to me? Are you aware that you're going to get fired literally tomorrow? I told you you're fired, right? <laughs> I'm not going to be fired, no way! You can't fire me, even as a business consultant for the company! I don't care what kind of consultant you are, you can't do that! I'm literally in a managerial position. You cannot just let people like that disappear! If I have proof that you're causing employees to stress and reducing productivity and efficiency of the whole office, then yeah. I've already found and recovered quite a few pieces of incriminating evidence proving that. I was already planning on submitting all of those in the documents to make sure that you're fired. The fact that you just cancelled on all of your bosses last second and tried to trick me into going to the wrong venue, that should be all the excellent material for you to be judged fairly. What? Are you being serious right now? Why though? Why would you do that? What's the purpose for all the hate you're sending my way? My job as a business consultant is to make sure that the business runs smoother as a result of my decisions. I'll be sure to do everything for this company that I can as a personal business consultant, but I actually specialize in internal affairs. Also, just so you know, one of those old men that quit for no reason that you were talking about, you are the boss of one of those old men. That man was my best friend for over 10 years now. I've known him for a long time. What? Yeah, you might have already forgot about all of it, to be honest with you. There was a guy, his name was Philip. He was one of the most excellent workers that I'd ever known, and because of you, he was fired from his job that he loved and cherished. He poured his heart and soul into that job. Wait, you're not Philip's best friend or something? You chased out that old man that's almost going to retire because you forced all of your mistakes onto him, right? Philip had lost all hope because he was fired. He had poured everything he had into this job and this company for over 10 years. And then there was some piece of shit who joined a little after. And was a little good at doing things around the office. And that piece of shit thought it would be a good idea to shift all of the blame from his mistakes to this hardworking guy. And that caused him to be fired without even able to tell his side of the story. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's not the whole truth. Uh, someone had to take responsibility for all this. It wasn't my fault. You started spreading rumors about Philip, right? About how bad of an employee he was and how slow he was at his job. You used that to your advantage, and you lied through your teeth to make sure that the bosses agreed with you to try to let go of Philip, right? I could tell that based off of the few days that I've been here. It really didn't take that long to connect the pieces. Hang on, please, wait a minute. It's not what it looks like, I swear. I didn't have any kind of bad intention or anything at all. I really didn't mean anything by it. This wasn't how all this was supposed to go down anyway. If it all just worked out the way I wanted, no one would have ever known and the company would have been all the better for it. Yeah, it's way too late for that, Perry. There's no going back now. I figured it all out and you can't do anything about it. Your boss, my boss, and HR will all know about everything that you've been doing behind the scenes real soon. Everyone will find out who really should have been held responsible for all of those mistakes that you blamed Philip for. Every single person will know that it was always you. I'm so sorry. I swear I won't do anything like that ever again, I promise. I'll start showing the utmost respect to all the employees who are older than me too, I promise. Please don't fire me. I really can't handle being fired right now. I'm on the course to being a corporate employee. You can't do that to me. I've been doing really well for myself, and I finally found myself in this managerial position. I don't want it to end just like this. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about you use that kind of wisdom and knowledge at another company, huh? Maybe they could use you. At the very least, you can't be useful here, so we're going to politely decline all of your services. At this company, where I'm looking over the business, I will strongly advise that you find somewhere else to work. Enjoy your party and drinking all by yourself. <coughs> Perry ended up showing up extremely late to the party, completely out of breath from running. He was begging for forgiveness, but he was denied even coming into the venue and chased off. His apology rang on empty ears as no one was willing to forgive him for any of his actions. Everyone looked at him with cold stares as he was the weird guy who suddenly cancelled on the new employee welcoming party at the very last second. 
The fact that he was being extremely rude and vulgar towards a business consultant and his terrible behavior combined with his previous behavior in the office created a problem that couldn't be ignored. He was apparently fired. Afterwards, not only did Lawrence help Philip clear his name in the office, but he also helped him start working at his beloved company again. To top things off, Philip was able to take the managerial position that Perry was originally in. Because Philip was such a great worker, workplace productivity skyrocketed, and business was actually doing better than ever before. It seemed like the Philip was able to make everyone happy except for one person, Perry. Apparently, Perry is in the middle of job hunting and is struggling every time someone interviews him and asks him why he had to leave his previous place of employment. He has a difficult time answering. It was all brought on himself, so he really has no excuse, however. Karma is a bitch, 